Hi there, Harris here from Shape Plugin with an in-depth tutorial of our UGallery Slider Pro plugin settings and features. With the plugin, you can display product and variation gallery images in stunning layouts, add multiple product and variation gallery images or even add product videos. I have already installed the plugin on my WordPress dashboard. If you haven't already done so, get yourself a copy of the plugin from the link in the descriptions below. Let's directly jump into the plugin features. After installing the plugin in your WordPress dashboard, you will see a menu U Gallery Slider. Click on it and you will be in the general settings. Here you will find 5 different layout presets to display your product and variation gallery images. Select horizontal bottom, save the changes, go to store and click on a product. You can see product gallery images are showing at horizontal bottom position. Now if I change it to horizontal top, save the changes and refresh the page. You can see the thumbnails are showing at the horizontal top position. If you want, you can change the number of thumbnails items to show. That indicates how many thumbnails items you want to display at the first place. By default, the value is set to 6. If you want, you can change it like this. Now let's see how the vertical left, right and height thumbnails layout display in the front end. Select vertical left, save the changes and refresh the page. This is how the vertical left thumbnails looks like in the front end. For the vertical right, you can see a similar layout like this. And when you hide the thumbnails, there will be no thumbnails showing in the front end. In the vertical left layout, you will have the option to choose thumbnails item display type from auto or custom. Auto means the thumbnails will automatically adjust according to the featured image height. And if you set custom, then you will have the option to set the number of thumbnails as you like. Let's set it to auto. Configure thumbnail space, thumbnail inner padding, thumbnail size, thumbnail border from here. The plugin offers 4 thumbnail hover effect and active styles to stylize your product gallery images. Like if I select thumbnail hover effect as zoom in and save the changes, refresh the page. You can see the thumbnails are zooming in on hover. To give an extra focus to your active thumbnail, you can set border around, bottom line, zoom out and opacity style. If I set bottom line, save the changes and refresh the page, you can see on hover the thumbnails, active thumbnails are getting a bottom line. You can configure the active thumbnail bottom line width and color as well. Now choose how do you want to active the thumbnails, you can set on click or mouse over. You can also set an effect for the inactive thumbnails. You can choose between opacity or grayscale. Let's select grayscale, save the changes and refresh the page. You can see the inactive thumbnails are showing as grayscale. Configure the grayscale level from here as you like. Most importantly, you can configure the gallery width which indicates how much width you want to get this section. Now it is set to 45%. If I change it to 60, save the changes and refresh the page, you can see the thumbnails gallery is acquiring 60% of the total page width. You can set the gallery width for responsive devices as well. Configure gallery bottom gap, gallery image sources include featured image and gallery image caption from here. Now let's move on to the gallery settings. Here you can configure gallery slider slider navigation and pagination, thumbnails navigation, product image, product image zoom and product video gallery related features. Let's explore them one by one. Initially you will be in the gallery slider settings. Here you can configure autoplay, slider orientation, infinite loop, sliding effects, adaptive height, accessibility, RTL, free mode and mouse wheel. If I select the slider orientation as vertical and set sliding effect as slide and save the changes refresh the page you can see the thumbnails gallery is sliding vertically now let's get back to the plugin features and set it to as it was in the thumbnails navigation and pagination panel you can show or hide the slider navigation and configure navigation icon style navigation icon size color and visibility similar for the pagination the plugin offers three thumbnails navigation styles outer inner and custom when you select custom, you can fully customize the navigation panel as you like. Like you can configure thumbnails navigation icon, icon size, navigation color, navigation border and navigation box sizes. 
Let's see an example of it. Suppose if you don't want to set the navigation height to 100%, then set it to 75. Save the changes and refresh the page. You can see the thumbnails navigation are getting 75% height. Product image zoom can greatly enhance the overall experience of your WooCommerce stores. The plugin offers three zoom styles, right side, inside and magnific for your WooCommerce store. Let's see how the zoom styles looks like in the front end. Let's select right side, save the changes and refresh the page. You can see this is how the right side zoom style looks like. You can configure the lens color, product image, overlay color, cursor type and more with this plugin. If I select inside and save the changes, refresh the page, this is the inside zoom style. And now if I select magnific and save the settings, refresh the page, this is the magnific zoom style. If you want, you can change the box size as well. Let's change it to circle, save the changes and refresh the page. You can see the zoom lens is showing a circular. Isn't it awesome? Let's get back to the right side. And here you can configure the lens color as I said before, lens border, product image overlay hover color, image overlay color, image overlay opacity, zoom window size. If you want custom zoom window size then you can set custom and change the width as you like. So by default it is set to 400 and 500 pixel. Let's save it and reload the page. Now you can see the zoom window is showing 400 and 500 pixel. If you want you can change it to 400 to 700 pixel and save the changes and refresh the page. Now the zoom window size will be much bigger than before. Configure mouse wheel zoom, zoom window border, zoom window box shadow and enable zoom for mobile devices. Configure product image related properties like you can set image size, enable or disable lazy load, preloader, border radius and image modes from here. The plugin supports the most popular video sources like YouTube, Vimeo, Dailymotion, Facebook and self-hosted. You may ask how to add videos to your product images. It is simple. Let me show it to you. Go to your product, click on edit product and click on the product image. As soon as you install the Gallery slider plugin, you will have the option to add a video link to your product gallery images. I have already added one. If you want, you can add as many videos as you want to your product images. Following the same process, you can add videos to your variation gallery images as well. Now it's time to set how do you want to play the video. You can set inline or pop-up. Right now you are seeing the inline play mode. If I set it to pop-up and save the settings, refresh the page and click on a video, you can see the video displayed in a nice pop-up. Get back to the inline mode. Here you can enable or disable the autoplay, video loop, self-hosted video player controls, show or hide and customize the self-hosted video player style. If you set custom, you will get the option to configure control, background color, video progress bar, video play progress background and more. Show or hide the YouTube related videos at the end of the YouTube video. Configure video volume as per your need. Now choose where do you want to place the video. You can either place it at the starting of the slider or at the end of the slider or you can place it as usual position. If I set it to at the starting of the slider and save the changes, refresh the page, you can see all the videos added to this product gallery are showing at the starting of the slider. Configure the video icon color from here. If I set a noticeable color like red and save the settings. Refresh the page, you can see the video icon color has been changed to red. Next one is Lightbox tab. The plugin offers 20 plus Lightbox functionalities for you. You can configure Lightbox sliding effects, Lightbox overlay background, Lightbox icon display position, icon style, icon size, icon color and more. Let's change the Lightbox icon display position to bottom right, save the changes and refresh the page. You can see the Lightbox icon is showing at the bottom right position. Now let's jump into the shop page video settings. Incorporating product videos on your shop page can significantly impact the overall shopping experience and influence purchasing decision. The plugin offers you this unique option to show product video on the shop page. 
I have already turned this option on. Let's see how videos display in the shop page. You can see whenever you add a video to your featured image or product image, it will display a video icon like this. So I have already added videos to those products. On this product, I didn't have any product videos. That is why it is not showing any icon right now. When you click on it, the video will play. With so many standbags on the market. You can add YouTube Vimeo daily motion of self-hosted videos to your product images for the shop page as well. Configure the video icon color for the shop page from here. In the advanced settings, you can check the box to clean up data on the plugin deletion. If the gallery slider doesn't display automatically on your product pages, then you can use this shortcut to display it manually. Write down the custom CSS here to modify the default styling. On the license page, you can active the plugin inserting the license on the license activation field thank you so much for watching the video if it was useful give it a like and leave your feedback right in the comments below see you in the next video